Good morning, good morning. Today is Friday, March 5th, 2021. Coach is now. Leg day. Wee oo. Wee oo. We're gonna get the legs going for real. Warm up is gonna be nice and fun. We're gonna do what's called a Cossack squat. A Cossack squat, we're gonna get our stance super, super wide. You can hold on to something here if you want. We're just gonna be shifting our weight from side to side, working into our groin. And then for my advanced peeps out there, we're gonna be getting down low and then really sinking into it. All right, so it's just a really good one to kind of warm up the adductors, um, work on some of the good mobility of the lower hips, specifically the, the groin muscles. That will be paired with a hollow hold. So laying on our backs, elevating the arms, elevating the legs, squeezing the core like crazy. Our work sets today, we're gonna to be doing three giant sets. All right, so a giant set is gonna be three exercises back to back to back. There's always gonna be um, generally two lower body lifts and then one core exercise. So for example, the first one, we're gonna be doing a traditional Romanian deadlift. So focusing on the hams, and then we're gonna go into a wide stance, paused sumo squat, paired with a little on ground Spider-Man crunch where we're driving the knee up and in towards the same side elbow. Our second one, we're gonna be doing some single arm swing work with some calf raise work, and then a lateral squat walk. So no core in the second piece. The third piece though, we're gonna focus on glutes and hams. So we're gonna be doing a, if we have a, a little mini band here, we're gonna be doing a banded bridge, and then we're gonna be doing a hamstring curl, and then an on the ground rotational hip tap plank. Finally, we're gonna finish with a little bit of uh, high interval conditioning. So we're gonna be doing some narrow wide squat hops paired with some different side planks. So a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff. Oh baby, let's get into it here. Let's get into it. Let's chop the feet, let's chop the feet. It's time to rock and roll. It's Friday, y'all, let's go. Let's go. Ah. I call this the cha-cha. He's -cha. moving forward, moving back a little bit. And then we're gonna go out and ins, out and ins, out and ins, out and ins. Just warming some things up. Three, two, one, and some hip turns. Just rotating through your hips. Just overall taking a little bit of self inventory here. How's everything feeling? You feeling good? You ready to roll? I hope so. Frankenstein, a high kick. Throw a little cha-cha in between. You're gonna kick your leg up nice and high. Touch your foot with your opposite hand. Big reach. Keep the downside heel on the ground. Three, two, ah, whoo. Coming down to the ground. I apologize in advance for the sound effects. Coach gets into it here. Half kneeling flow, out, down, open. Little variation here. You're gonna take your hand, you're gonna wedge it underneath your feet. Rock back. Pull your toes to your nose. <sighs> rock forward, rock back again. Pull your toes to your nose. Oh, that feels good. Lights up that hamstring a little bit. Switch up. Similar idea here. We're gonna go out, push out hard, open up that inner thigh, forearm to the floor. <sighs> open. <sighs> Wedge your hand underneath your foot, rock it back. Rock it back, toes to nose, rock it back, pull. Ooh, spicy sauce, one more time. Good. Cat cows, round your spine, exhale. Arch your spine, inhale. Take it through about three reps. Sit back, child's pose. I like to kind of grab my shin bones here. And then as I sit back, I'm also trying to lift my lower back up towards the ceiling a little bit. I get a really big stretch to my QL. And then I want you to reach your hands out in front to the middle and then to the side. And this is called a thread the needle here. So I'm gonna put one hand in the middle. I'm gonna reach under and drop my shoulder. Hand in the middle, reach under. Drop the shoulder. From here, I'm gonna go into a high plank and then to a pigeon. So high plank, throw the leg up and under, pigeon. Come 
come down. I'm gonna do one more, throw it up, pigeon. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again, just different angles so you can see it. My leg comes underneath my body, I'm trying to get it square. And then when I go out, I wanna lead with my chest. One more time. Last one, some adductor step out. So I'm gonna step out and glide. I'm stepping out at about a 90 degree angle here. So I don't wanna go forward, I just wanna go directly to my side. I wanna keep a little bit of tension through my core as I shift. And I'm working right through my hips. Three, two, and one. Alrighty crew, so starter today is gonna to involve two things. The first of which is gonna be our Cossack squat. So with our Cossack squat, I want you to get about a stance um, to the point where just by getting into this wide stance, you're already sensing a little bit of a stretch through your groin. Once you're there, you're gonna make sure that your feet are flat on the ground and your toes are pointed dead straight in front of you. Then I want you to shift to one side and then shift to the other side. So you're not moving your feet, you're simply just shifting your weight. To do this right, you gotta push your butt back a little bit first and then shift. So you don't want to be going forward in front with your knees like this. You wanna make sure your butt goes back and then you're sliding from side to side. All right, the second thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be on our backs. And <clears throat> this is called a hollow hold. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna point our toes out away from us. We're gonna collapse our arms right next to our ears and we're gonna elevate our legs and our arms off the ground as well as our upper back. The low back should be pressed into the ground. So it looks like this, hollow hold. <sighs> On these, we want good active thing happening down low into the belly. And that every time you exhale, I want you to squeeze your core as tightly as you can. Alrighty, so we're gonna do four sets of each. These are gonna be 30 second long sets. So nothing crazy, all right, but plenty to warm us up, all right, crew? So 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're gonna start with the Cossack squat, the Cossack squat. On the clock in seven seconds, stance is nice and wide, feet are flat, toes are forward. Begin by hinging back, and then I want you to shift to one side, come up and then drop and then shift to the other side. Just working on staying nice and comfortable through this thing. You don't gotta force anything. Making sure your feet stay flat on the ground. Challenge your range of motion here. See how low you can go on one side versus the other. Now I want you to notice if you feel like you can do go a lot farther in one versus the other as well. All right, hollow hold. Let's point the toes. Let's lock our arms in. Low back stays pressed into the ground. <sighs> Breathe and squeeze. <sighs> Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Make sure your shoulder blades stay off the floor. Almost there. Excellent. All right, back up into our Cossack squat. I'm gonna do this thing the same way, except I'm just gonna face this direction. And I want you to, to see what's kind of happening with my, my hips here in relation to my knee. So I'm gonna push my butt back and then I'm gonna slide. Then I'm gonna slide. So notice my knee is not coming crashing forward. I'm not coming down like this, but my hip is going back and then I'm sliding into it. So I'm going back and then into it. If you want, you can play with the angle of your feet. So you'll notice if you point your toes more out, you'll have a little more range of motion. <clears throat> if you wanna make it harder, toe those toes in. And that's really gonna challenge that groin. Hollow hold here, crew. Hollow hold. Let's lock in tight. And up, here we go. Breathe and squeeze. 
stay nice and calm. I got a little spicy right there at the end. All right, going back to our caustic squat. This time, I'm gonna show you the next progression of this thing. So what you're gonna see is, I'm gonna go to one side, and then I'm gonna let my opposite toe come up off the ground. So I'm gonna push my hips back, I'm gonna slide into this side, my toe comes up, I'm gonna make sure this heel stays down and I'm really gonna sink into it. You see that? So I'm going back, I'm gonna slide, this heel stays down, this toe comes up. I'm gonna pull myself low into that thing. Woo! This is, this is work right here. Excellent. Coming back down. Hollow hold for set number three. Let's keep that breathing nice and even. If this exercise is getting to be too much, take your hands, slip them underneath your butt, and you're gonna lift your legs like this. All right, so this is just a slightly easier progression. It still is gonna challenge the core though, I promise you. Last round here, crew. Last round, last round, last round. So I'm just gonna angle slightly differently here. But again, I'm gonna work into that uh, progressed version of the Cossack squat. So I'm sitting in back, my opposite toe comes up. This heel stays down on the ground. <sighs> Sit into it, toe comes up. Work into that bottom position without allowing your chest to collapse forward. So I'm gonna stay tall through my torso. I'm gonna make sure my core stays nice and tight. I'm gonna get down up in there, yeah. Woo! All right, crew. Hollow hold one last time, one last time. So remember, if you need to uh, make it slightly easier, slip the hands underneath the butt. And if you want that full Z, arms are in line with the ears. Point the toes. Another one you can do is you can alternate tucking one leg in, and then the other leg out. That's gonna make it a little easier as well. Just make sure that low back stays down on the ground. Stay tight, almost there, 10 seconds. Tension stays on the core no matter what you're doing. Three, two, one. Yes. All right, moving on. So the first piece we're gonna be doing is gonna be eight minutes long. The seven, second piece that we're gonna do, seven minutes long. The third piece, six minutes. So it's eight, seven, six. So for our eight minute set, everything is going to be eight reps, eight reps. So we're gonna be to do a traditional Romanian deadlift. So I'm just gonna hold one bell with you can always do two bells as well, so find the right amount of resistance. Our stance on this one is hip width, so nothing terribly wide. From here, <clears throat> I wanna think I wanna lower the weight right down over the top of my toenails. So I'm gonna push my hips back. I wanna feel my hamstring stretch immediately. So I'm gonna drive my hips back, keep the bell right over the toenails. Once I go as low as I can um, with my lower body, then I'm gonna come back up. What I don't want you to do is get to this point and then say, oh man, I'm not at the ground, and then just reach from your back to get that extra range of motion. All right, so that's not what we're trying to work here. We're just trying to work our hamstrings. So don't worry about how low you're going. You're gonna tip as far as you can. And then once your legs say, hey, that's as far as I can go, bang, pull back up to the top. So that one's gonna be eight reps. Your second one, you're gonna pull the weight up. You're gonna get into this nice wide stance that we prepped with that Cossack squat. We're doing a sumo here. 
with a one, 1,000, two, 1,000, pause at the bottom. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, back to the top. Alrighty? So that's what we got going on. After that, we're gonna be coming on the ground and doing a little alternating spider. So I'm gonna come in and then squeeze, coming in and then squeeze, coming in and then squeeze them. So driving the knee to the outside of the same side elbow, okay? And we're gonna be going eight per side there. Alrighty, so eight, eight, eight. 888 eight, eight for eight minutes. All right here, crew. Let's have some fun. Let's work hard. Eight minutes are going on the clock. We're gonna start with that Romanian deadlift. Romanian deadlift. Whoo! Grab the bell, stances hip width apart. Slightly retract your shoulder blades. Eight reps, tip. Feel the stretch. Come back up. The weight's coming right over the top of the toenails, finishing nice and tall. Drive your hips back. Find those hamstrings. Once you get you can rest if you need to, or you can bring that weight up. It's coming into the sumo goblet position here. My toes are out, my stance is wide. When we get to the bottom, second pause. Pull yourself into the hole. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, up for eight. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, up. Excellent. And then the third thing that we're doing on this sequence is our Spider-Man crunch. So I'm gonna get to the top of my leg and I'm gonna drive my elbow, sorry, my knee to the same side elbow. So I'm gonna drive my knee up and in, squeeze my core. Eight per side. Notice I'm leaning my shoulder towards the driving knee. Squeezing my oblique as I do that. Once we get eight per side, we're gonna go ahead and do that again. All right, so our timetable looks pretty good. Um, we're sitting right at about the six minute mark, which will be perfect. So we're gonna knock out four sets here. All right, let's go. Eight reps. After eight, bell is coming back up, stance is coming nice and wide. Push out with your feet. Eight, two second pause. to toast me up a little bit. All right, we're coming back down, high plank position. <clears throat> Knee coming to the same side elbow. Squeeze the oblique, lean into it. All right, here we go. Good high plank, core stays tight, back stays flat. Excellent, excellent. All right, plenty of time. I'm gonna rock and roll on the four zero zero. We're back to the top. We're sticking with eight reps here, straight sets of eight. Romanian deadlift, here we go. 
If this one is feeling a little easy, you know what to do. You gotta bump up a little bit. Here we go. After eight, we're bringing the belt up nice and high. Stance is wide. Two second pause. Sumo goblet squat. Here we go. <laughs> ah, I love that one. That feels good. All right, back to our high plank. Leaning the, the shoulder towards the knee driving side. Eight and eight. Here, crew, plenty of time here, plenty of time. Final set, if those first couple sets felt pretty good, bump up a little bit here, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself here. We're gonna start on the two, zero, zero, if you're working with, with my pace. All right, on the two, zero, zero. Romanian deadlift for eight reps here. I'm gonna rotate this way, nice and smooth, here we go. Drive your hips back. Feel the hamstrings. Don't reach with your back. Imagine there's a wall behind your butt. Go back and touch that wall with your butt. One more. Yes. Take a few breaths. Bring that bell up nice and high. Stance is wide. Two seconds at the bottom. Here we go. great for kind of opening up the hips. Love that move right there. All right, last one, spider crunch. I want you to really think about squeezing your abdominals hard as that knee comes in. Ready, ready? Let's go, eight and eight. Ah, yes. All right, finish up the work that you're doing, and I'll explain what we got next. Whew. Alrighty here, crew. So, the next work piece that we're gonna be doing is seven minutes long. We're gonna be doing three exercises. We're gonna be doing a single arm swing, where we're gonna do 10 reps in a row with the right arm, 10 reps in a row with the left arm. After that, you're gonna elevate your foot up onto something. We're gonna be doing some single leg calf work. So a little bit of a, a heel rise would be helpful or a stair. Single leg calf raise, 10 in a row. Switch legs, 10 in a row. All right, the last one we're gonna do is gonna be a little squat walk. You can hold the weight down or you can bring it up. Either way, I'm gonna start at one side. I'm gonna squat and step, squat and step. 
we're gonna do 10 total. So I'm probably gonna go five in one direction, five in the other. If you don't have that much space, no big deal. You're gonna step one time to the left, step the other time to the right. So you just alternate until you get a total of 10 of those. All right, so the first two exercises are gonna be 10 on each side. The last one is gonna be a total of 10. So five and five. Seven minutes on the clock here, crew. Oh baby, seven minutes on the clock. All right, we're gonna be starting with the single arm swing for 10. Once you finish 10 reps with one arm, go ahead and go right to the other arm for 10 more. Single arm swing for 10 on the clock in five. Two, one, here we go. Reps. Swing switch, 10 the other side. We're gonna set it down. I'm gonna come over and we're gonna knock out our heel raises. So I'm gonna start with one leg, elevate my other. I'm gonna hold on to something here for balance. 10 reps, good squeeze to the top. I apologize if you guys can't see my feet. I realized everything is all black over here. Black socks, black shoes, black floor, black razor what <laughs> white little legs <laughs> that's all right we'll get some sunshine on the skin not too long right ah one more ah all right last one i'm gonna hold my belt up in the goblet 10 total here so i'm gonna go five to my left five back to my right take a lateral step pull yourself into the squat not too wide here. All right, we're gonna reset. Back to our single arm swing, 10 and 10. Ready, ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Single arm swing. Swing switch. Calf raises, 10-10, balls of your feet on the edge, drive up, good squeeze up at the top. After 10, switch up, here we go. Hey, and then our lateral step. Belt's gonna be nice and high. Five to one side, five back to the other, or 10 total. Stance is gonna be our traditional squat with squat here. All right, all right. Back to our single arm swing. Take a few breaths. 10-10 on these swings. Let's be explosive through our leg drive, explosive through our hip drive. 
Let's do a good job of bracing our core. Hard, violent exhale as the bell starts moving away from our body. All right, here we go, 10, 10. Swing switch. Ooh, and breathe. Calf raises. Calf raises. Here we go. 10 10. Drive through the balls of your feet. Squeeze that calf at the top of the rep. Ha. And we're going to switch. Here we go. Driving up. Good squeeze. Hey, lateral squat walk, 10 total here, crew, 10 total here. Elbows are down, squat stance is regular, five and five. All right, we got a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and knock out our 10 and 10 swings here, crew. 10 and 10 swings one time. Let's go. Swing switch. Right on cue, love that. All right, set number three coming up. We're gonna be doing some banded bridges, some hamstring curls, and a little rotational plank tap. <sighs> to make it easy, all of these we're gonna do for a total of 16 reps. 16, one six, one six to make it easy. So, if you don't have a set of these straps, you can use a stability ball where you're gonna bridge up and then you're gonna pull your heels towards your butt. If you don't have a ball or a set of straps, you're gonna do a hamstring walkout. So the hamstring walkout, what you do is you start on your back, you're gonna bridge your hips up and then you're gonna walk your heels out until your legs are nearly straight. And then you're gonna walk them back in, okay? If you're gonna do the hamstring walkout, you're gonna only do eight of those because they take quite a bit longer. And then, if you have a, a little loop style band, you're gonna be using that. And we're gonna be doing a little banded bridge here. If you don't have the band, it's all good. You're gonna do the exercise the same way, just without it. So I got the band up around my knees. I'm gonna separate my feet so my feet are about hip width apart. I'm gonna drive up. Once I'm up, I'm going to go out, together, down, up, out, together, down. And we're going to do eight of those, okay? Eight reps there. I'm sorry, 16. <laughs> 16. The thing that we're going to do eight of is going to be our rotational plank. Where we're going to be doing eight per side. So <clears throat> we've done these before. I'm on my forearms. I'm going to be rolling my hips from my right to my left working from one side to the other. So 16 total there, eight to the right, eight to the left, left alternating every single rep. We're gonna go with um, fewer, 
fewer time on the clock though, fewer minutes. We're only gonna be doing six minutes here, all right? So we're gonna go hard. If you can, just leave that band around your knees for the entire set. A little pro style move. <laughs> I've been teaching my son how to wink, it's hilarious to be like. <laughs> so no bud, you can only do one. <laughs> wink. All right, let's go. <laughs> Quit playing around, coach. All right, banded hamstrings. Sorry, banded bridges. It's Friday. Let's have some fun. Let's go. Bands up around the knees. 16 reps, banded bridge. Let's go. You're going up, out, together. Down, 16. Smooth, controlled reps. After 16, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave my band on. I'm gonna set up <clears throat> with my TRX here. I'm gonna put my heels up in there. From this position here, I'm gonna straighten my legs. I'm gonna bridge, I'm gonna curl in, 16. That was enough, jeez Louise. All right, and then lastly, again, I'm gonna leave the band. It's not really doing anything in this position, but it just takes a, reduces the time spent going on and off. So, on my forearms, my knees are bent. I'm gonna roll my hip to my right, and then go all the way over to my left. 16 total, eight per side. After eight and eight, we're gonna do it again. All right, so that took about two minutes. All right, let's see if we can get two more sets in here, crew, two more sets. All right, so the feet, we're gonna bridge, out, together, down, 16. Yes, after 16, we're gonna transition to that hamstring curl. So I'm gonna use my straps again. You might be using a stability ball. And remember, the hamstring walkout, you're only gonna be doing eight of those. All right, so you're gonna pick. All right, 16 in here is spicy, let's go. Fake that. <laughs> that burns. <laughs> All right, eight and eight here. Roll it. time right on time let's get one more set in. one more set here we go bridge abduction up out together down 16 
Woo. Woo. Let's stay on it, let's stay on it. Transition quick, transition quick. All right, right to it, right to it, right to it. Heels are in, nice and level. We're up and we're in, come on. Yes. Oh, plenty of time, plenty of time. Take a breath or two, set up on the forearms, rolling side to side, knees are bent, core is tight. Eight and eight. All right, crew. Finish today is gonna to be a little plyo work and a little more core work. So as you hopefully have seen, that was kind of the nature of today's workout. Some core, some legs, core and legs, core and legs. <clears throat> this is gonna be a three rounder. 20 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're gonna be alternating between some narrow, wide, um, narrow to wide squat hops, and then some uh, shallow lunge stance split jumps. All right, so <clears throat> the narrow wide, just like it sounds, set up your feet in a wide stance, hit a squat, pop your feet narrow, hit a squat. Wide, narrow. After we do a set of those, we're gonna side plank on one side. We're gonna get back on our feet. I'm gonna put one foot in front of the other, I'm gonna dip down, I'm gonna focus on the working leg being my forward leg. Forward leg, working leg. Dip down, switch your feet. You don't gotta go super low here, all right? Just enough to kind of spike that heart rate a little bit. After we finish that, we'll come down, we'll side plank on the other side. We're gonna do that entire thing three times, all right? All right, let's have some fun. 20 seconds on the clock, 15 second rest. Four total working sets, and happy Friday. All righty, crew. All righty, let's get into it. I'm gonna rock some music for this last, last one. Hopefully you guys got some good music. Get you feeling good. Oh yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. <clears throat> All right, on the clock here. On the clock here, five seconds. Ready, ready? Let's go. All right, we're coming down, side plank. I'm gonna go right forearm down. Stack the shoulder over the top of the elbow. All right, you're up and in like this. Breathe and squeeze. Breathe and squeeze. 10 seconds. Excellent, we're back up on our feet. We're doing our shallow split jump. So one foot in front of the other, we're gonna dip down, we're gonna hop and switch. Remember, you don't gotta go super deep on these. Ready, ready, here we go. Forward leg, working leg.
Excellent, side plank, the opposite side now. We're coming down. If you wanna start a little early, by all means, get a head start, let's go. Come on, my hard bodies out there. Go after it, go get it today, let's go. Squeeze and breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Squeeze that bottom oblique. Yes. Wide and arrows, wide and arrows. Ready, ready? Back down, side plank the other side. Let's go, hard bodies, get right to it. Get right to it, come on. Breathe and squeeze, come on. Three, two, one, back up, back up. All right, crew, we're halfway through the finish. Halfway through the finish here. Split stance. Whew. Let's go. Side plank of the side. Right to it. Yep. Come on. Squeeze down here. Squeeze down here. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Rotate towards the floor just slightly. Almost there. One time to go, one time to go. Come on, come on, come on. One time to go, one time to go. Let's go. Three to go, three to go, three to go. Come on, hard bodies, let's go, get down there. Let's go, breathe and squeeze. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Split jump. Let's go. Finish, let's go. Finish. <sighs> 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 
10 seconds. Come on. Awesome crew, quick stretches. Laying on the belly. Big breath in. And then let's hit a little cobra press up. Breathe through the belly first. Counter that little child's pose. <sighs> Cat cow. Half kneeling flow. Out, down, one time, the other time. Rock it back, bang, switching up, out, down, ha, ha, rock back. Happy Friday, y'all, woo!